is putting on the T and then we'll put that there like that. Hold it in. Okay, now we're gonna come up with a piece here. We're gonna go on the end here like this and then we'll put a post here. Seconds. I just I just watched two, two, two seconds. I put it in like also digger. Works okay if there's no rocks. Rocks. It's not working too bad, even though there's a little bit of rocks. What are you doing, Dad? I am putting the primer on this. So, no. I have to do it like this, otherwise you're gonna lose all the stuff. Well, morning folks. This is day two of the uh, water project, the, the first water project. We have our second one coming relatively quick. Um, what we've done so far, my dad and my siblings did while I wasn't here. They, the tank you've seen has been placed here. We've, we've gone and got supplies and pipe. We've hooked on to the end nozzle of the IBC tank. We've decided to tee it and put a valve here just for a a flush out if we need to, which it might need to for silt that may collect in there over time. And then we've gone for a two inch for a little ways. And then we've, we've uh, changed it. We've got a uh, reducer coupling here to go to a one inch to hopefully maybe build a little bit more pressure as it travels down, down the hill using, using gravity force. And then the one inch travels pretty much the entire rest of the way. And we come down here. We're gonna bury it under here so we can drive over and mow over it just to avoid complications of possibly running it over if, if anything. And then we're coming up to here where we are going to finish the project here with, we're gonna do a 90 to just the side, the side post here and put, and put this board up against the back and we have a valve, I think, somewhere over there that we can hook a, uh, a simple garden hose to, and then we can water. Okay, now we'll get the other. 
created the valve for it. Dan's down there, about 15 feet below. He's videoing it. I'm gonna open this up. There's air, should be going. That's pretty good. Okay. Can I put the hose on it? Yeah, I think it looks arrow. Is it coming out still? Oh, it's still coming out, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Just wanted to let you know that that low water system was done for a number of reasons. Um, one of them was so we have more water storage. The other reason would be that we don't have the upper system working yet, so we needed a system right now. And also we thought if the higher water system eventually gets working, we could hook the two systems up and that higher water system could then replenish the lower water system. And it should work out well. We did hook a sprinkler up to the lower water system and it just comes out as a little trickle and it could be good just to place underneath a tree for like a half an hour or so. And it could just water it at a very low rate. All right, so hope you enjoyed Stay that. Stay tuned for the high water system. That one's going to be really exciting.